Hi, I'm Carolina from Always Expect More. Today I'm going to show you how to design your own quilt. Let's get started. To design your own quilt, you'll need some paper. You could use blank paper, but I prefer graph paper. A pencil, some markers, colored pencils or crayons, and some inspiration. Today for my inspiration, I'm using some different fabrics. I divided these fabrics into fabrics that have pink tones and fabrics that have blue tones to make my designing a little bit simpler. Start by using basic quilt block shapes when designing your first quilt. Squares are easy to put together. Half square triangles are easy to put together. You can also search online for basic quilt block shapes that can inspire you. Log cabins are great, so are shoe fly blocks, or really any traditional quilt block. You can adjust it to suit your needs. Start sketching out your quilt pattern. Once you have it all sketched out, color in the different areas to determine where the different fabrics are going to be. Once we've designed the quilt, we'll want to cut out the fabric to be able to make the quilt. The cutting size is determined by the finish size of each block. If this is an 8 inch block, the cutting size for my half square triangle will magically be 1 inch larger. To make this block, I'll actually cut two 9 inch squares of each fabric, draw a line across it, stitch a quarter each from, inch from each side, and it'll trim perfectly to the 8.5 inches that I need for it to be a finished 8 inch block in my quilt. Each one of my blocks will have a quarter inch seam allowance between each of them. Here's a block where I've added borders to the block. Each of these squares, if they're one inch, will become a three inch by three inch finish block. When I add my seam allowance of a quarter inch on all sides, I'll need to cut three and a half inches by three and a half inches for each one of my corner blocks. My center square is 8 inches by 8 inches finished. So I'll need to cut an extra quarter inch on each side. So an 8.5 by 8.5 inch cut block will turn into an 8 inch finished block. My triangles are 3 inch finished. So I'll need to cut a 4 inch by 4 inch block of each color to make two half square triangle blocks. My borders, I put on my side borders first. And then my top and bottom borders. You can measure and cut these now, but sometimes when you piece a quilt, it doesn't go together exactly perfectly the size that you want it. So I usually measure my borders and add them at the very end. Designing your quilts can get really fun. I love to do modern quilts and even with really traditional fabrics, you can get a very modern and fun design. This quilt uses a lot of the blocks that we already talked about. Lots of half square triangle blocks, square in a square, and regular square blocks. To put this quilt together, we need to decide where our seam lines are going to be. We can stitch this line to put the two halves of the quilt together. Now we just keep breaking it apart. Even breaking apart within our blocks. to figure out exactly where each one of our blocks are going to be. Giving ourselves perfect cutting instructions before we get started cutting is going to make this process of designing our own quilt and then sewing our own quilt so much easier. Okay, so this one, this looks crazy, right? We've got a lot of information, 
all on one sheet, but it's exactly the information we need in order to get perfect cuts and get our quilt to go together perfectly the first time. All of my background blocks have been labeled. My background one block is a finished 8 by 14. So I've put this down at the bottom. My background one is 8 by 14, which means that my cut size is 8 and a half by 14 and a half. I've done this for every single one of my background blocks. So when I get my background fabric out, I can cut every single piece that I need and have them all ready to go. When you have lots of different sizes of similar fabric, it helps to label them. I like to use a little blue wet erase marker to mark my fabrics, but you can also use post-its and pin them on to each one of the fabrics so that they don't get lost after they've been cut to the perfect size. There's nothing more frustrating than sewing in a piece that's just wrong. I've also done the same with each one of my blocks. For block A1, it's made out of a blue four and a half by four and a half cut piece and two two and a half by four and a half and two and a half by eight and a half inch pieces. My block A2 is four half square triangles. So I'll need two five by five inch pieces of the blue and two five by five inch pieces of the pink. Go through each one of your blocks. Make sure to take the time to measure out exactly what you'll need before you stitch it all together. I hope that helped you learn how to design your own quilt. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to this channel for more crafty awesomeness and check out the details below.